Hi Aries. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. I am doing uh, a general spread for you. It's been two weeks since your last one. I like to wait two weeks. I'm going to get one card right now for the strongest energies, then one or two cards from the Mystical Moment Tarot to start the reading out. I'm going to look at your current energy, something you've recently been through. The opposing energies crossing you. And then what's headed in. This is going to be good, I feel, for right in the beginning of November. I, I feel like it's going to start flying in as soon as Mercury Retrograde goes direct. I think that, um, I don't know, this is good for all placements of Aries, my Aries Nation. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, you guys. You guys are awesome, truly. And I'm not just saying that, to say it. I, I, you guys blow me away every time I do a reading for you. Um, this is for the sign of Aries. This is a general reading. If you're a cross watcher, the energies could be moved around and same with you, Aries. All right, Spirit Guides, one card from the Zen Tarot for the strongest energy around my Aries right now, please. Strongest energy around my Aries, please. One card. What do you want to show me for the sign? Oh, well, you got two cards. Okay. This is what they gave me. Oh, you got three cards. Oh, clinging to the past, Aries. Do you know what song I heard when I was, I was meditating and cleansing everything? I, it's old school, but I heard it. It just started coming in out of nowhere. I have not heard it. It's that Carol King song, um, It's Too Late. Clinging to the past. Patience. And politics. You know what this card is about? This is Zen Tarot. This is about, you know the games politicians play? One up on each other. You know, trying to make the other person look bad so they can look better. Mm -mm. Clinging to the past and be patient. Okay. I'm going to get one card, maybe two from the mystical moments, and I'll begin the reading. All right. For the sign of Aries, one card. <laughs> for the sign of Aries, please. One card, one shuffle. Spirit guides, one card for my beautiful Aries out there. From the mystical moments. Strongest energy coming in for the sign of Aries. What do you want to show me about this reading today? What do I need to see for my beautiful Aries out there? Oh, that kind of slid out from I don't even know where. All right, what do we have? This is telling me all I need to know. Aries, they gave me the Three of Swords. I hope you guys can see this. I'm doing it during the day, but it's the lights in. And Three of Swords, clinging to the past, broken heart, be patient, and stop playing a game if you're playing one. Or stop somebody from playing a game is what I feel. All right, I'm going to begin the reading. Okay, let's look at uh, something you've recently been through. For the sign of Aries, please, Spirit Guide, something my Aries have recently been through. If it sounds like something you've been through, this is your reading. Clinging to the past from a broken heart. Stop playing the game or let people play it with you. And patience. I think you're about to harvest something. Mm. Okay, Spirit Guides, one card currently, recently, that was the Five of Pentacles, feeling very isolated. Something my you my Aries have been through. One more shuffle. I just like a lot of energy in my cards. Aries, current or past energies that this reading is for. For the sign of Aries, please. What do you want to show me? Recently in the past or something they've been through currently that this reading is for. Thank you. Thank you. For the sign of Aries. Current energies or something they've recently been through for my beautiful areas out there please current energies thank you okay i said current energies and guess who popped out the fool you guys have been getting that a lot in your readings but underneath the deck you know sets the pace for my readings besides all that i already see i see this i have a big libra energy showing up justice recently or something you've been through in the past it's about everything being fair with the seven of cups and what I feel from that is either you were treated like an option or you'll have a whole lot of disillusionment and love because the next big major arcana is 
faith, my friend, the Hierophant. Climbing to that higher level of belief, spirituality, commitment. And then underneath that, I have the Nine of Cups, which fulfillment from politics. Five of Swords. <sighs> Trying to claim one up on each other, whatever, I don't know. But let's just begin the reading. To my left is I have the Knight of Coins. The Knight on a mission of your stability. I have the Six of Wands. A victory with going after something about your stability. I have the world. It's a completion. In other words, it's that's the last major arcana, the world. It's like you've completed everything. It's done. Because, my friends, you got the next one is the fool, which is the zero major arcana. Recently, this is about starting over, taking a new leap of faith. You got the completion and you got the fool clinging to the past from a broken heart. Come on, you guys. I can't make this up. Okay. Clinging to the past because of a broken heart. I think you got some new love rolling in. I'm feeling an ace of cups coming in here in the upcoming energies. I got the seven of pentacles with the moon. Uh, the moon is Piscean energy, but the seven of coins is about putting a lot of work into something because you're about to harvest something. I, I, I'm, I'm just feeling something here, but recently it's been a completion of having a victory about you going in. A, I feel a direction about your stability and getting it. You know, I mean, you got politics and you got the five of swords under the deck with everything being fair, justice. You know, I have the Seven of Cups, and that's about very, being very disillusioned in love. But you guys, you have the Hierophant with the Nine of Cups. That is being very grounded to a wish you have. I think you guys are getting over something. I, it's too late, baby, now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. The Moon, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, you the work you've been putting into yourself or something. Seems a little foggy at the moment. Like... Is this going to pay off? I mean, come on. I'm look at the opposing energies. Ooh, who do I want to use? Okay, this one it is. Crossing energies my Aries have been dealing with recently in the past or currently. Tell me about the crossing energies. You know, I do this because a lot of um, subs reached out and said, can you please tell me how the other person's feeling or what they're going through? So that's the only reason I throw this in here. You know, if you're not dealing with anybody, I can tell you right now, you've completed some cycles. You're about to take a new leap of faith, go on a new journey. And I know you guys have been feeling like you've been putting a lot of work into something, but you haven't even seen any fruits from your labor yet, but you're going to. Crossing energy. I got to focus. Crossing energies for the sign of Aries, please. Oh, you know those want to jump. Crossing energies <laughs> for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Tell me about the crossing energies. That my Aries, thank you, have been dealing with. Tell me about the crossing, thank you, energies for the sign of Aries. What else do you want to show me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. About the crossing energies, the sign of Aries. Oh, wow, you guys. I can't believe that card. I, 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 it's in every, every one of your freaking readings, but freaking I said. I didn't say the other one. Crossing energies is I have the page sword still watching. Still thinking, that's the page. Doesn't do a whole lot. I have the Six of Wands. Yeah, they want a victory. I mean, uh, I have the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Crossing Energies is all about a new beginning in love under their, their uh, strongest energies with the Queen and Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here. This is about someone who's holding on to something they are firmly believed in with that Queen of Pentacles. This is what I'm feeling. It's what I go by. And with the Queen of Cups here, it's trying to offer love. Trying to offer love. Maybe back to you. Let's see what the cards have to say. And with the Page of Swords here and the Six of Wands, that's minute thinking about thinking they had a victory. Hmm. Well, I have Temperance. Well, big patience showing up here with the world and their energies too. You know, Feeling like this is a completion of a cycle to begin a new one. I have the lovers right in front of me sideways. Yeah. 
Um, to me, that can go either way, but when it lands sideways in front of me, it means that it's a connection that they're on the fence about. I'm sorry. I have the Six of Pentacles wanting to give into a passionate brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. That is about their stability, their groundedness. I have two more cards. I'm waiting to see one of them. I have the Eight of Cups, somebody who's walked away. Oh my goodness. There it is right there, every reading, with the Emperor. So Aries, either you walked away or somebody walked away from you. This is the opposing energies. And, um, you know, with the Page of Swords here and the Six of Wands, come on now, that's the Page of Swords, you guys. That's the Page of <laughs> Minute Thinking. You know what? I'm going to get one card from the Mystical Moments. I just want to see about their energies, okay? Just one quick card, because I have a funny feeling here, because you're the last card out in their reading again. Always showing up. Spirit guides. Hmm. One card for the crossing energies my Aries have been dealing with. One card for the crossing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. They got the Ten of Wands. Poor things. It's like they're trying to pluck that new flower in front of them, but they already have all this weight on their back from the past. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to look what is coming in towards you guys. Because this is good coming in. They usually happen in about two weeks. This card is staring at me and clinging to the past. And a lot of mind games is what I'm feeling. All right. Incoming energies. Oh, you got to... You gotta, <laughs> You got to kind of feel bad for them. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know what they did, but, you know, they, they try to get a passionate new beginning going here. See, I got the Ace of Wands and they're plucking that new flower in front of them, but they got so much weight on their back from Aries. Yeah. All right. Okay, Spirit Guides. Incoming energies for the sign of my beautiful Aries, please. I'm going to do one shuffle. Incoming for the sign of Aries. With a snap, crackle, popping, or whatever it's called. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, spirit guides. Incoming energies. That's the high priestess. Incoming energies for the sign of Aries, please. Okay, I got to do one more shuffle, you guys. I, I just got to go with what I feel. Incoming. In the next few weeks for the sign of Aries, please. What do you want to show me? Incoming energies for the sign of my Aries. Incoming energies. Hmm. For the sign of Aries, please. Show me the incoming energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh. <laughs> the king. Incoming energies for the sign of Aries, please, in the next few weeks. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Anything else? Ho, ho. Look who landed right in front of me. Oh, oh you guys, the card that fell on the floor and the opposing energies. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. It must. Wow, that little slide. Is the King of Wands right next to the Emperor? Big Leo energy in their energies. I just saw it on my right. It must have fell off the table. That's like a dust dueling kings right there. That is the emperor standing in the Aries energy of I am the emperor with somebody who is standing in their chair of totally determination of the king of wands, Leo energy. I'm going to win. doesn't matter who's going to win. The politics needs to stop. I think Aries is done. All right. Right in front of you always is, is the fool. Is the fool. Coming in. Starting over. And underneath the deck, let's start here. Is I have the three of cups. That is a card about rejoice, celebration, good times. Page Wands, eager to let's get something started with the Emperor is coming in, Aries, with the Magician, the Master of Creation. I'm telling you guys, you guys are creating something beautiful. Incoming energies, I think it's too late, baby, now. The game, it's enough. It's, I mean, I cannot make this shit up. Clinging to the past from a broken heart. Come on, Aries. The games, patience. Okay, what do we got? 
Oh, I get so caught up in your readings. Okay, Three of Cups, you know, this is a card about rejoice, celebration, good times coming in. This is incoming energies. Like everything's going to be coming together for you with love. Maybe other people. I think you got something new. I got the Page of Wands, fire energy, the eager page to, to get something started. But I got you showing up with the almighty manifester himself, a lot of Aries energy right here. Coming into your own. Mm, loving it. I got the page of pentacles in reverse with the seven of wands in reverse. Uh, this is the page that's only ever given you a little bit of stability. And then I have the seven of wands in reverse. They're not going to be standing their ground any longer. I can't help it, you guys. This is what's coming in. And this is, I mean, oh my goodness. And then right next to that seven of wands in reverse, they can't stand their ground any longer about not giving you anything, anything, this, anything, not even a, not even a little something. Is I got the big old five of wands, more fire energy, a lot of passionate conflicts. I got it with someone who has a whole lot of hope and faith in that one cup of love. With the Eight of Swords being caught in your thoughts. And with the Five of Coins in this deck, is this is about giving into something. Giving your money away or giving a part of you away. I feel that somebody has lost their will to fight. You know, and, um, you know, I, I mean, with these two cards coming in, that is about someone who's getting caught in their head. The Eight of Swords is not a good place to see and right next to, oh, I hope my Aries will forgive me. I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I don't know. Let's move on. Uh-oh. I have the Knight of Swords showing up. Yep. I'm always putting the order on. I'm supposed to take them. With the King of Swords, big Aquarian energy. It's the King of uh, Truth, Honesty, Integrity, the King of Steel with the Knight of Communication. Mm -hmm. I told you somebody's. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going there. I got the full Major Arcana, Aries slash Aquarius energy. Zero Major Arcana about rolling in. You know, this is what's rolling in, starting over. The moon here, the things that were hidden from you with the devil are going to be illuminated. I'm only saying that because the last card out is the beautiful eight of wands. This is beautiful energy, Aries. You know, that is something that you have attracted towards you and it is incoming. So I always say, be careful what you wish for. You know, the things, the devil, somebody might reappear because you do have communication coming in. You know, who wants to speak the truth with you. There's going to be some conflicts. I got the five of wands with the five, five of coins. Maybe somebody wants to give back into you. And it's the clinking of the wands. Because I know you you got this power coming in, man. I, I mm, Yeah, and there, somebody's done like they, they can't, they can't, they don't have the upper hand anymore. And now it's like... I think they realize what they did to you, but it's too late, baby. Now it's too late. I keep hearing that song in my head. I just hear that one lyric. You guys have something coming in, man. And I have it with the full zero major kind about starting over. And I think it's new love. I think it's new love. I, I here to take one more card. I'm just going to let it come out. Um, right here. And I just think that this is about time you guys, you know, Stop clinging to the past. If you have been, if you haven't, then you haven't. Or someone's clinging to the past. One card, you asked me to get one card for the sign of Aries. One card, Spirit Guides told me to get one card for the sign of Aries. All right. I heard it. I have the star. This is about a wish coming true. Hope, faith, healing. This is about everything coming to fruition for you is what I'm feeling because I have you showing up with the almighty manifester, the creator himself. You guys, you have a lot of major arcanas. Those are big messages. I have it with the fool starting over. 
I don't know. I'm going to get, you know, one or two cards for you from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. It always ties the reading together. If this has been resonating with you, you guys, you know, please remember to uh, hit the like button. Subscribe. It does help my channel. I'd be very grateful. Thank you. Spirit Guides, uh, one or two messages for the sign of Aries. What do you want to tell my Aries today, please, about this reading? One or two messages for the sign of Aries. I got two messages. I got the Eight of Raphael. I know that's about search for the silver lining. There is something better waiting for you, Aries. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. Now, what is right for you, Aries? I have the Ten of Gabriel. Big message here. Tens are always big messages. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying to hard to please others. I think it's just you guys have been doing too much and it's now, it's your time. It's your time. You know, um, this is a spiritual quest for you. This is something that you need to go after with a new start, create what it is that you want. And the one card they asked me to get was the star. And this is about hope, faith, and healing. I saw the cards earlier. Hey, okay, Aries, I, I have probably way extended my uh, welcome here. Thank you for viewing me today, Aries. If you guys did enjoy this, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you, Aries Nation, for supporting my channel. You guys are awesome. Have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful upcoming few weeks. Thank you for viewing me.